are at the, the Polytechnic University of Milan at the Teens European Conference hosted by Centro Studi Galileo with Mrs. Stefania Bracco, a consultant and economist for the Food and Agriculture Organization. Ms. Bracco, thank you so much for being here and for your contribution for representing FAO in this conference. Thank you for your presentation and uh, I would like to take this opportunity to ask more or less uh, your opinion and your point of view in this moment for the sector on the importance of the cold chain and how your organization is contributing to that, considering the importance of our health, of avoiding food loss, and of improving energy efficiency. Yes, of course. Thank you for inviting FAO to be present at this event. It's a re very relevant event, and uh, I've seen a lot of participation from private and public sector, so it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, the cold chain is an extremely important topic in FAO, and in particular recently it's uh, the attention towards this topic is increasing, uh, in particular in, re in relation to the climate target and the necessity to uh, deal with the scarcities of scarcity of resources. Of course, FAO is uh, main objective is to reach uh, zero hunger and to uh, work towards the achievement of the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. We have a big uh, pro program in FAO. The okay. Safe Food Program is actually a global initiative of which FAO, FAO is just one of the partners. And this initiative uh, is aiming at reducing food loss and waste. Uh, it's a, um, recent estimates suggest that about one third of the food which is produced is wasted or lost. And this is, uh, of course, this implies also uh, waste of resources that are needed to produce food as well as energy. So it's key to uh, work together with the private sector and the public sector towards reducing these uh, estimates. And uh, cold storage plays a very important role on this and cold technologies in general because they can help food preservation. Introduction of cold storage technologies is not only convenient from an economic and financial point of view, but it has also many, many impacts, as you were mentioning, on social and environmental issues. Of course, on greenhouse gas emissions to begin with, but then it uh, may also empower, for instance, uh, one of our projects was focusing on the impact on empowering women mm. uh, uh, with the use of new innovative technologies and uh, as well as reducing the work burden and uh, also uh, in terms of uh, safety of food and so there are many um, uh, social and environmental co-benefit of the adoption of cold storage and that's uh, what we also want to focus on. Uh, so, thank you very much for your efforts in reaching these goals, of course, and for your activity that you're doing in this fundamental sector. And about this, even if on different levels, our mission, we can say, is common. So, reaching to the people, to the technicians, the installers, the maintainers, the end users, and of course, getting them to know the latest technologies and how to use them properly. What is your role in this and what is your opinion? Yes, of course, this is a key element. For instance, in our recent project about investing in uh, sustainable energy technologies, we have investigated which are the main barriers and the main solutions uh, for um, helping the adoption, favoring the adoption of uh, clean technologies, including cold storage. And one of the main results of this project has been that lack of uh, capacity and so a capacity both uh, from the technician that needs to know the technology, promote it, install it and then control it and also a uh, lack of knowledge from uh, the users that oftentimes they are not even aware of the existence of the technologies, they do not have access to it and access to information about it. Training and capacity building it's, uh, are two fundamental issues for, for implementing and for promoting the adoption of clean uh, technologies in agri-food chains. Thank you so much. We thank once more Ms. Bracco from AFAO. Thank you.